In this video, I'm going to show you how to update TP-Link Wi-Fi router firmware. So in case you've been trying to update it, here's how we can do it easily. Now, the first thing you want to do is go to the TP-Link Download Center website. So just type that into Google and then go to this website, which says a download center TP-Link. Click on it. And then on their website over here, what you want to do is essentially find your product that you're trying to update. So scroll down here and then you'll see different categories you have from networking to then a business and then different routers, stuff like that. So just find one that you are using. For me, let's say it's going to be this Archer one over here. And then once you click on it, you'll be directed to this site over here. Now, from here, what's very important is that you have to check the hardware version of your device. And if you would like to do that, here's how we can do it. So I pulled up a website over here, which is essentially their official website on how to do it. There we go. It's over here. So how to find the hardware version of a TP-Link device, what you have to do is choose one of the three methods. So you can use the label on the back of your device. So for most products, there will be a label at the back of uh, your device. So as you can see, it should look something like this, or maybe like this, or even like this. Now, that's the first way. Second way is you can use the engraved characters on your device. So as you can see over here, there's um, some text up here on your device. And if there's this FCC ID, this is what you're looking for. So that there's always the third option as well, of course. So for product with management interface, what you have to do is essentially just do as it says over here. So you'll just have to follow these instructions on your screen right now. You can uh, simply pause the video, read through these, and then once you find it, we're going to continue. So here's some examples of how you can find this. Now, once you've done that, and once you have your hardware version, what you have to do is go back over here to this download center, which I just opened up earlier. And then what you want to do is just select your version. So for me over here, let's say we have version um, 1.60 and we're going to click over here, but make sure you select the uh, right one. Okay. So as you can see over here, what it says, it says important model and hardware version availability varies by region. So please refer to your TP-Link regional website to determine product availability. What you want to do is click up here where it says your um, essentially your country and your language. And then over here, you can simply select the one you're currently in. So you have Europe, you have Asia Pacific, Americas Global, etc. OK, so select the one that's the closest to you and the one you're currently in, of course, if it exists. If it doesn't exist, just select the nearest one or essentially where you bought the TP-Link product. Once you've done that, you want to scroll down until you see firmware over here. So you want to click firmware and then scroll down. And this part over here is very important. OK, so it says important to prevent upgrade failures. Please read the following before proceeding with the upgrade process. So what you have to do is over here, I'm going to extend this, you have to upgrade the firmware from the local TP-Link official website of the purchase location for your TP-Link device, which I already said, because otherwise your warranty will be off. So essentially, if you haven't done that, just find your local um, website and then download it from there from TP-Link uh, local website. Now, you also have to verify the hardware ver version of your device for the firmware version. So we've done that already. And then um, do not turn off the power during the upgrade process as it may cause permanent damage to the product. So make sure you actually do this. And then to avoid wireless disconnect issues during firmware upgrade process, you will have to have a wired connection. So essentially, once you've done all the steps till now, what you have to do is um, have a wired connection because it's way more stable than Wi-Fi. And <clears throat> the second one is you cannot and you shouldn't turn off the power during the upgrade process because you may damage the product. This is very important. That's why I'm saying it twice. Now, the next step would be to go down here and simply download your firmware. So you can see <clears throat> which firmware is over here. So you have different published dates. You can select the most recent one. So for me over here, this one was posted on 27th of August 2024. And you want to click download over here. And then it says, please upgrade 
firmware software from the local DPLink official website, etc. So I'm not on my local website, but I'm not going to do it till the end. So it doesn't matter for me. But for you, make sure you are on the local website. If you get this message, press go to local website and download from there. I'm going to press still download over here. And then this is going to download itself in a few seconds. And I'm going to show you what to do with it. There we go. So it's in my downloads folder now. And what you want to do is right click it and press extract all. And then you want to click extract over here. And then you want to open up this new folder. And inside this new folder, as you can see, you have a few different things. So we have these license terms, we have the how to upgrade the TP-Link wireless router, and then we have this um, dot bin uh, random kind of file over here. So if you want to know how to upgrade it, you want to just double click on this and then open it up. Let's say I'm going to do Google Chrome. And then over here, as you can see, you'll get the notice yet again. And then you have steps about upgrading. So once you download it, you have to extract this. And then step two, as you can see, you will have to log in to the TP-Link device by typing this into your address bar. So as you can see, if I type that in, then it's going to allow you to do it. And it's going to show you how to log into your, um, your website. Okay, so to the place where we're going to update it. Now, once you're inside your website, <clears throat> what you'll have to do is then go inside advanced. So if I zoom this in for you over here, you have to go to advanced, and then you want to click on system, as you can see, and then firmware upgrade. Okay, so just go inside that and then click browse, which is this button over here. And then you will have to choose the firmware that you already extracted in the folder, which is this thing over here. So this little um, kind of document inside your downloads folder. Now, what you then want to do is click upgrade. And then step five is the device will reboot automatically after upgrading, and you will have to wait about three minutes, you will get this status bar, which says upgrading over here. And then you will have to verify that the router's firmware has been upgraded successfully over here on the same page. So <clears throat> that's pretty much it. That's how you do it. And I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please subscribe to the channel and help me out as well.